in this video, we will discuss linear shift invariant systems. Linear system response is generally important before a linear system approach can be used to analyze or characterize system performance. A system must also have a shift invariant response before Fourier-based analysis can be used. Thus, this linear shift invariant system is an important assumption to simplify our analysis of medical images. We will start by defining first linear systems, followed by the discussion of the output of the system. Once an impulse response is applied, then we will discuss the definition of shift invariance, followed by a short introduction about convolution. A system S is a linear system if when the input consists of a weighted summation of several signals as shown here, we have the weight, then this is your input signal, so it's a weighted summation of your input signal, then we will have an output that is a weighted summation of the responses of the system to each individual input signal as shown. So this is the the output of your system for each input and this is your weight. So it's a weighted summation of the output for each individual inputs. A linear system means the output must be proportional to the input. Thus, if a system has a transfer function described by S, this is the characteristic of your system, such that the input F produces an output of this, Then, for any two inputs, F1 and F2, the system is linear if and only if, first, given this transfer characteristic, your input, the summation of these two signals, F1 and F2, so given this output, this is equal to the output of each individual input signal. And, if our input is scaled by a certain constant a, then the output is equal to a times the output for this individual signal f. Let us now consider the output of the system S to a point impulse. Let us denote h here, this left hand side, as the output of the system S to our input, which is a point impulse, so this is a del function located at psi eta. So again, this is a point impulse as our input. The response h is also known as your point spread function, or PSF, or this is equivalent to your impulse response function. An impulse input located at x is equal to x0, as shown here, produces the impulse response function located at x0, as shown here. If we have a linear system, the output of these two impulse inputs located at x1 and x2 is a superposition of your impulse response located at x1 and x2. There are many systems that are not linear but can be linearized. For medical imaging, we have radiographic film screen system. Using this Herter and Driffield curve, which shows the re relationship between the film optical density and X-ray exposure, this can be used in order to linearize our radiographic system. Okay, so now let's assume that our system is is linear, a linear system, then if we have a certain arbitrary input f with two independent variable x, y, and this is our input to our system s, then we will get this output g. So this is, this is an expression, a double integral of your input at a certain point psi and eta times your point spread function or your impulse response function. This integral is known as the superposition integral 
This shows that your point spread function or impulse response function uniquely characterize a linear system. That is, if you know your point uh, spread function, then you can calculate its output in response to a certain input. Let's say that our system is a shift invariant. If an arbitrary translation of the input as shown, we translated our input to a certain location x0 and y0, it will result to the same translation of our output to that location x0 and y0. This shows the response of a shift invariant system to a translated input that is equal to the response of the system to the actual input translated by the same amount. Shift invariance does not require or imply linearity. However, if your system is linear at the same time shift invariant, then we can have the following. So first, given this impulse response function or your point spread function, this is the output of your signal to a certain input pulse, then if this pulse or del function is shifted to a certain location psi eta, then your impulse response function or your point spread function is also translated to that specific location eta and psi or psi eta. Therefore, by imposing shift invariance on a linear system, we, we are able to reduce the dimensionality of our point spread function by a factor of 2. If our system is a linear shift invariant system or LSI, then this superposition integral is also called your convolution integral and this can be rewritten as this. Your output G is equal to your impulse response function or point spread function convolved with your input F. Convolution plays a fundamental role in the theory of signals and systems.